Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today another educational video. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Sharpen your pencils and stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. Today we're gonna to be talking about green water. Before we do that, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And of course, hit that notification bell as well so you know if I go live or release a new video. Oh, and go over to TikTok, like my TikTok because I'm one of them cool kids that does TikTok too. So green water, what is it? Is it good, is it bad? How do I get rid of it? What's causing it? Blah, 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 blah. So first of all, what is it? It's an algae bloom in your tank. It's photoplankton. Is it harmful? No, not in the least. In fact, it's very beneficial for fish uh, because they eat it as food and it's good food, it's healthy. Um, so what are the causes? Well, there's three main causes um, that I'm gonna talk about and they're all relatively easy to fix. You just have to sort of figure out which one is causing it. And the first is too much light, usually direct sunlight, but it could be any light. And so how do you fix it? Well you have to lower the photo period. So if you notice that uh, your tank's been running for six months and all of a sudden now you have an algae bloom it's, and it's near a window, it's possible because of the rotation of the earth and all that scientific jazz, the sun is more powerful and coming from a different angle and hitting your tank and causing algae. And so you have to block out that sunlight. Uh, if you buy a new light and you have an algae bloom after that, which is what happened to me, I'll tell you that story in a second, you have to change your photo period. You usually have to lower it. In fact, you always have to lower it, not usually. Um, and so what happened in my case? Well, the one time I've had uh, green water inside is in my angelfish tank upstairs. And I had that tank set up for about, I don't know, two, three years maybe. And I had a crappy um, shop light. In fact, it's a shop light that's up over there now, but uh, on the tank and it grew plants fine, but it was nothing special. And because of that, I had a, a fairly long photo period. It was on maybe 10, 12 hours a day. And my plants grew okay. Now, you know I'm not a plant guy, but I didn't really have much algae and the plants were living, so I thought I was doing it right. And then I got that really nice fluval light from Aquarium Co-op and I didn't change the timer because I didn't know any better. Again, not a plant guy. And within a few days, boom, algae outbreak and the water started to turn green. And I didn't really care about the green water or the algae outbreak, to be honest. But upper management made a comment like, hey, is everything okay? Which, you know, if you know anything about upper management, translates to, you should fix that, because I don't like it. And so that's what I did. And so I thought about it for about 15 minutes, and I realized, oh, I just got this really nice fluval uh, light for this fish tank from Aquarium Co-op. That's the only thing that's changed. Let me mess with that. And so I, I lowered the photo period, uh, I don't know, down to about, four or five hours. And uh, I started cleaning algae, the green water started to go away, and that was that. And then I, I raised the photo period slowly over a couple weeks to see where that balance was, where I started to see algae grow, I would leave it or lower it another hour or so per day, and done. So in short, in most cases, I find that uh, green water is due to excessive light. So you just need to fix that situation, lower your photo period. Now, sometimes you have to do a complete blackout to get rid of the green water, which is bad, especially if you have plants, because a lot of plants don't like that and they don't do well. So you may lose some plants in that time of total darkness. I've never had to do that, uh, so I really can't speak to how long it takes, but I would say it's gonna be a couple days at least, three, four, maybe even five days of total blackout to get rid of the green water. So one of the other causes is uh, excess fish and uh, excess fish produce excess waste, which is where the problem comes from. The waste gets broken down into nitrate, which is good food for plants and algae. So they'll eat that and grow faster. And so uh, the way to fix the too many fish is either rehome some fish, get another tank and put those fish in there, or you can simply do more water changes to reduce the nitrate levels. Uh, the third way that you can get green water is sort of just like the second way, at overfeeding, which is kind of the same thing as too many fish. You overfeed, 
the food goes down to the bottom of the tank, breaks down through the nitrogen cycle to nitrates, boom, <clears throat> excess food for the algae to eat. So by the way, not just green water, but most algae, this is the same thing because they're the same algae. Well, they're not the same algae, but you know what I mean, it's, it's algae, anyway. So green water, not bad for the fish, just bad if you like to look at your tank. Three main causes, excess light, excess fish, excess food. Pretty easy to fix as well. Obviously the excess light is um, lower the photo period. Excess fish, do more water changes or rehome some of your fish. Excess food, stop overfeeding. Now, there's a couple other ways that I've read online and that I've heard on social media to fix green water and I just wanna address some of them. The, the biggest one I hear on social media is just go buy a UV sterilizer, that'll take care of everything. Well, first of all, why would you go spend money when you can fix it for free? I'm cheap, most people are cheap, they don't wanna go out and buy a UV sterilizer. Two, a UV sterilizer requires water to leave the tank, go through the UV sterilizer, and then go back into the tank. That's at least two connection points where water can leak. Nobody wants the leaky water, right? So you gotta be careful with that. And three, in some setups, a UV sterilizer isn't going to work because you don't have the room, you don't have an extra plug, you don't have what you need to run the UV sterilizer. So while that certainly can clean up green water, I don't recommend it, especially for an inside tank. If you have a pond outside and it's indirect sunlight and there's nothing you can do about it because there's no trees to block the light, that might be your only choice and then you're gonna have to figure that out. So this is something that I've never done. I, I, I've, I've read online and I'm telling you I've never done it, but it seems like it would work, right? Get something that's going to eat the algae that's causing the green water. So shrimp will eat the photoplankton. In theory, that should work. Daphnia will eat the photoplankton. That should work. My thought is, if I have a tank full of guppies and I have green water and the guppies are eating the green water and I'm still making more green water, that's great, right? Because that's what I want. But if you have a show tank or a tank in you know a place where people see it a lot and you don't want the green water and you add more something to the tank, Daphnia, shrimp, more guppies, that could help or it could hurt, right? Excessive fish for poop, you could overfeed again. So um, in theory, if you add Daphnia to a tank of green water, the Daphnia should eat the green water. But then I think, wouldn't the guppies or whatever else is in your tank eat the Daphnia because they're delicious too? So again, I've never done that, I don't know, but it sounds like it will work. Fishing folks, that does it. Um, if you have any comments or questions about green water, you can certainly email me through my website or leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to answer them. Once again, here at Michael's Fish Room, I only answer based on experience. If you ask me a question about shrimp or goldfish or something else that I don't know the answer to, I will tell you, I don't know. So, hope that helps. You guys have a great day. See you soon. The one time I've had green water inside was in my algae, no. I got the awesome light from Aquarium Co-op, and now I can't remember what it is. Damn it. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Check out my TikTok. Uh, my last video blew up. I know, it's got like 2,000 views compared to like 200 for my other videos. So check it out, it's pretty cool. I'm getting kind of, I'm getting better at it. Um, and of It's called a brain fart. Hi, fishy folks. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about no. God, this I suck at this. Hi, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, we're going to be talking about green water. Is it good? Is it bad? How to get rid of it? Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Burped. It's a great intro, until I burped. It's coffee. 